Hey, what's up guys, Shazad here and in this video I am going to show you how to install Norma Galaxy S6 based version 12 ROM on your Galaxy Note 3 and 9005. So if you remember, I have also made a video on Norma's Note 4 port ROM on the Galaxy Note 3 and hands down that was one of the best ROM for the Galaxy Note 3. And now they are back with Galaxy S6 based Note 5 style ROM for the Galaxy Note 3 and 9005. And after using it for a while, I can say that this is one of the best Galaxy S6 port for the Galaxy Note 3 and it also has lots of Note 5 features. So we get the circular icons from the Note 5 itself. And we do also get this new S view window where you can slide the notification drawer and toggle the switches, etc. So there are lots of new stuff in this ROM and I would really recommend you to try it out. So without any further delay, let's check out how to install this ROM. So the prerequisites here are you must have a Galaxy Note 3 and 9005 and number two is your device must be rooted and number three is you need to have a custom recovery installed. So once you have all of these three things, click on the download link in the description and download the ROM from there. And I will also try to leave the Google Drive link if you want to download it from there. So once you have the ROM downloaded, go ahead and copy it to your internal or external memory of your device. Now before doing anything, make sure you take a backup of your EFS partition and also make sure you take a backup of your apps and data because those will be lost. So now boot your phone in recovery mode by holding the volume up, home and power button at the same time. Here first of all do a factory data reset. After that go back and hit wipe cage partition. After that go into advanced and wipe Delvic cage as well. Once that's done, go back into mountain storage and wipe the system. Once you are done wiping cage and data, go into install zip and find the ROM that you have downloaded. I have it in my internal memory. So just click on that and hit yes to install. So it has taken us to the aroma installer. Let's select the full wipe and i'm gonna select the kernel to be the stock one i don't want to install any other kernels and then there is a favorite camera choice so you can choose the note 4 camera you can choose the s6 camera and the stock camera i'm gonna choose the s6 camera then we have battery switch style i'm gonna keep it to stock and sound uh, equalizers so i'm gonna leave it to wiper fx then we have the layout settings. I'm going to keep it to Note 5 icons and S6 5.5 by 5. Yes to install. So then in the next menu, you can select the CSC file. So let me just select any one of these. Actually, there is no India here. Okay, so let me just keep it on United Kingdom. By default, it was on United Kingdom itself. So let's click yes. And now your ROM is installing. Uh, so it will take around like two to five minutes and I'll be back with you guys once this is done. So guys, we are done with the installation and now I'm just going to hit next to finish the installation and my device will reboot now. So just in case if your device doesn't boot back up, just like mine, click and hold the power button for like two or three seconds and the device will automatically reboot. So here we are up and running this Galaxy S6 based Note 5 ROM and so far it looks really really good. Let's quickly finish this setup. So guys there are still a lot of Note 5 features missing here but we can definitely expect it in the future updates because uh, in the normal Note 4 port ROM it almost had all of the Note 4 features. So I am sure that they will be able to port the Note 5 features as well. So we do get this S6 Edge like people edge option when you swipe from the right side where you can contact your favorites quickly. And as I said, there is this circular theme going on just like the Note 5. We do get this double tap to open up the camera shortcut as well. And now going into the settings and going into about device, you can see it is based on Android 5.0.2. And guys, the phone feels really, really snappy and responsive. Trust me, it is one of the fastest ROM that I've tried so far.
So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all have enjoyed this. Do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like these. And I will catch you all in the next one.